Hello and welcome to another Digital Painter vidcast. My name is Terry Dana Chikimiak II and I'm the Digital Painter. Today we're going to be looking at inking and specifically this is I'm going to cover inking in a couple of different programs over a couple tutorials so as not to make one giant long tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at inking in Photoshop. Uh, we're going to combine some of the things that I do within Photoshop uh, as well as some of the pen tools that I actually use. Um, now understand that you don't have to use the inking tools that I use. You can find there's a lot of them on the net. A lot of them at DeviantArt is a great place to go and do a search for them. So, so don't think that you have to get the ones I have because the ones I have I did purchase. They're $14, part of a giant pack by Kyle Webster. Uh, but, but you know, it's it's not about buying things. It's about using the tools that you can get and using them well. All right, so I have this image here and this little uh, little dancer. My daughter dances, and so I'm like, well, let's play with dancing. What you'll notice is that I've done a pencil sketch. That's my layer two. Turn it off, turn it on. There it is. Layer three uh, is a, a first attempt at inking that I'm going to come back to and show you in a second. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you my process. Once I have her all fleshed out, and the fleshing out process takes a couple of steps. I don't do it all in one step. I tend to build up over several different layers, uh, starting with giant shapes and then building down into the details. And so the first thing you need to do is find a good, uh, a good inking pen. Like I said, check out DeviantArt, uh, and you can usually find some people who have ones that they've developed. Like I said, I'm using Kyle Webster, and I'm going to use one of the ones that I love using, which is the Scratchy Nib Tilt. And there it is. So you've got a, a sense of what it looks like. Uh, now, when inking, there's a couple of things to remember. This is digital. It's not real life. That means you have things like undo and the ability to erase. So if we're in here and I'm inking, again, I'm on a new layer. My drawing layer is a 26% opacity. My new layer is above my drawing layer. There, now it's directly above at 100% opacity. Now, first thing you'll notice, that line is entirely too thick. Make sure that you've tested out a couple of, so I'm right now, this is now at six, okay, which is a decent size. So if I come in, I'm gonna look at it. Okay, I like it, so I'm gonna go with it. Now, you'll notice that when I do this, I sometimes stop, like right there. All you need to do is start back from there. See that? It's almost flawless in whether or not uh, in in how it looks. It doesn't look like you've done it multiple times. Don't think you have to do giant long areas all in one pass. So I've done that. Then I'm going to come in, come through there, undo because I didn't like it. There. And there. Okay, so now I've done her lower torso. Notice this is peaking this way, so it looks like it would go out here. So I'm going to actually erase that down a little bit. I want to see where this one ends up so then I can come through. And again, I've connected it there. And if I zoom out, nearly impossible to tell that I did a two-liner there. There is a little bit of a bump right on this side that I noticed. So I'll come in and just erase away a little bit. Maybe just do the same thing on the other side. And now when I zoom out, you can't even tell that that was done by two lines. Come back in. Let's get a little bit of her neck here. I really like the ability to undo. <laughs> now sometimes, like this curve, I will try and do it in one pass. Also notice, if you can, find an inker that has multiple thicknesses when you, based on your pressure sensitivity, because the same thickness throughout an entire piece can get really dull really quick. There we go. Let's come down and do her legs. You'll notice right now that I'm zoomed in pretty far. I will not stay this is zoomed in through the entirety of this because if you do you're going to be missing some of 
the overall look, which is important. She's got her little little dancing boots on, cause she's dancing, dancing, dancing. Some people hate it when I joke around on here. You know what? Those people, I'm sorry. I like having fun. So you notice right there, I did several undos to get it exactly how I wanted it. Again, notice how I went over there, I come back, I erase back a little bit, and I'm fine. Zoom out just to see how it's coming. Now I don't try to go over my lines perfectly that are my underlayer, because if I did, I would just constantly frustrate myself. Uh, sometimes I see things a little better when I'm inking, and so I do some minor adjustments. Zoom back out. I've made her arms a little strong, but I'm okay with that. My daughter's pretty strong. At the very least, she's strong-willed. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I'm terrible at hands. That's actually one of my New Year's resolutions, is to work on hands, so please forgive the very janky-looking fingers. I haven't actually started, I mean, I started a little bit, but they definitely look better than what they did when I started drawing, I'll tell you that. Notice again, I went over, you can come in and delete it. You've been deleted. Deleted. Cybermen, they're terrible. Yes, that's a Doctor Who reference. Now one of the things I like about this inker is that it's not uber smooth. Some people like the uber smooth feel. I'm not one of those people. I like texture. This hand's even worse than the first. But I liked how that came out. And the great thing is you can zoom in really close to kind of clean up some of those areas that are pretty tight in there. So I cleaned up that finger a little bit. Come up here. Ooh. Okay, so sometimes when doing this, you actually do need to rotate your canvas. Now, my uh, tablet can spin a little bit, but it can't rotate all the way upside down. So I do use shortcuts after I undo that. Let's try again. Let's press the right button. There we go. And to get her jawline, I'm going to bring her here. There we go. Almost. Now you notice, for example, her jawline is one area that I do try to do a continuous on. And that's because I it's it feels better to me again it's not something that you necessarily have to follow the other thing is eyes I almost always do try to do eyes in one pass because it gives me a better f I don't know a better feel now here's a good example rather than try and stop there come around and stop there I tend to make my full circle. And again, don't be afraid of undo. I'm okay with that. And then that, oops. Come in there. I can increase this a little bit. There we go.
Now here's a good example. I'm actually going to pull all the way through. Now when I go back and do the hair, so let's spin her around again. You spin me right around, baby, right around. I'm, the hair you'll notice, whoops, whoops. Notice how it goes over that area. Then I just come in and I erase a little bit. Hair is another area that I tr sometimes try. There, see that? I did a little bend. Um, but I sometimes try to kind of be pretty consistent. And I think I want. And then I come back. And again, erase some of those areas. Now one of the reasons I chose this anchor is because I can get some really nice points. Which I'm a huge fan of. Zoom in here. Now, if you're going for a kind of a wavyish organic line, slow your hand down. If you're trying to do nice smooth lines, try and make your hand go a little faster. Uh, the slower your hand has the moves, the more likely you're going to get wiggles in it. So you notice when I want to do big oopy curves, I tend to kind of swoop. And trust me, it, it takes practice. Uh, I <laughs> it, it's, it's one of those things that you're not going to get right there at the beginning. But don't get frustrated with it. You know, that's that can be such a deterrent. Oops. Zoom in, wanna give her, her eyebrows. Now her eyebrows, you notice I'm just kinda pecking my way through. That's because I don't really need to I mean there's there's only a couple lines. Just a couple of eyelashes, I think. I had a lot more initially, but I don't know. I'll have to play with it later. All right, and then we turn off our pencil drawing, and you can see it turned out pretty good. Now, I will come back in and adjust areas uh, because I tend to want my lines to touch if I'm going to be painting it a certain way. If I'm not painting it, if I'm doing like a watercolor version or a... Uh, maybe a gouache version. I don't worry so much about the lines touching, but if I'm doing a fill, like using fills, uh, I want to be able to select areas pretty easily. So, let's see right there, I made these two chunky, so I'll come in and just kind of slim them down a little bit. And there we go, we have her inked. She's now ready to be painted, and um, Hopefully my wife likes it, <laughs> and we'll see if uh, I get a print out of it. 
So I hope that helps you with inking in Photoshop. Again, big things to focus on, finding the right inking pen. Uh, it's taken me a long time. In fact, I didn't use Photoshop for a long time because I never felt like I could find a good inking pen um, for my taste because we all have different tastes when it comes to inking. So what you like is gonna definitely be different than what I like. Uh, the other thing to look at is, you know, this is not the only pro program for inking. Uh, Next video is actually going to cover ArtRage's inking, and there's some cool things that ArtRage does that Photoshop doesn't. So you will hopefully enjoy that. And um, we'll look at a couple others, such as uh, Clip Art Studio, some really nice inking options in there. And um, truthfully, if you really wanted to, you could ink in Illustrator, but I'm not a huge fan of that, uh, but it is doable. All right, that's it for this video. Again, my name is Terry Dana Chikimak II. I'm the digital painter. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Check out the website at www.thedigitalpainter.com for more of my tutorials or reviews or just random videos. And uh, that's it for today. I hope you're well and uh, continue drawing.